Drawing is an integral part of Adobe Illustrator. And what I'd like to do is show you just some key shortcuts that we can use to work with some of the drawing tools. So I'm just gonna open up a simple document here. Take a look over in the tools panel. I can see that I've got all my drawing tools, including the rectangle tool. I click and hold down on that tool there. We can see we've got a bunch underneath and a few have a shortcuts or keyboard commands. Now if I wanna see these or access them all at once, I can move the cursor over the right hover over tear off and just kind of keep all these out here. I'm going to go through each one and just show you a few shortcuts that you can use to draw with these. So with the rectangle tool, if I come out here and click and drag, you can see there are two ways to work with most drawing tools. Clicking and dragging affords you the ability to create a rectangle, a square, a circle, whatever you do. If you click and release, you'll also see a dialog box, which allows you to change the width, height, uh, you know, radius, things like that, whatever the tool demands. Now what's really cool about this dialog box is if you ever draw something, a circle, a rounded rectangle, whatever, and then you click and see this dialog box, it gives you the same exact dimensions for the next rectangle, circle, whatever it is. All right, let me click cancel. Now to draw a rectangle here, if I click and drag, I'm gonna show you a few keyboard shortcuts. Holding down the shift key on most of these will allow you to constrain the proportions. And you can see that I can kind of move my cursor around. If you want to, I'll release the shift key here and I can keep drawing a rectangle. To move the shape, if you hold down the space bar, drag, I still have my mouse button down. You can kind of drag the shape into position, release the space bar and continue dragging. I didn't release my mouse at all. Let me move it back into the center here at the space bar. If you want to draw from the center on most of these drawing tools, you can hold down the Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, and it will draw from the center. Using a combination of some of these, you can actually use Alt Shift to create a perfect square drawing from the center, Hold down the space bar to move that square, release the space bar, keep the keys down. The key here, you guys, not to be, uh, <laughs> no pun intended, you need to release the mouse button and then the keys. Otherwise, it usually goes back to its original settings. Now, as far as the rounded rectangle tool is concerned, if I select that over here, come out and start drawing. One of the great things we can do with this tool is if you wanna change the corner radius, you can do this a couple ways. If you keep the mouse button still, you can use your up arrow or down arrow. So if you use the up arrow, you can increase the corner radius. Every time I press it, it increases a little bit. Down arrow, if you hold the down arrow, let's say, you'll see it decreases the corner radius. Now, if you want this to go a little faster, you can actually kind of move your cursor as you hold down one of the arrows. So you'll see here, if I hold down the down arrow and move my cursor, it goes a little faster. Up arrow, it does that as well. Same shortcuts apply, the shift key, the option on when, uh, Mac, the alter windows and the space bar allowing me to drag this. If I release, I've got myself a rounded rectangle. As far as the ellipse tool is concerned, a lot of the similar shortcuts uh, work with that one as well. Let me show you a nice little shortcut with this as well. With a lot of these tools, if you want to draw another shape on top of another shape and center them, if you have a shape selected like the rounded rectangle, if I take, let's say, the ellipse tool here and hover over the center, you'll see it says center because of the um, smart guides. If I hold down Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, I'll see this cursor. And if I click, I'll actually get the ellipse dialog box. Now the dialog boxes are similar for a lot of these. You can just type in a value. And you can even type in inches. If I want three IN, I can do that. And what's really cool is if you type in one value, you can click on the other value. Let's say I type in width, I click on height. It makes height the same and converts them to the values of the ruler measurements. If I click OK, I got myself a circle. So there we go. As far as the polygon tool is concerned, click on the polygon. I'm going to come out here, guys. I'm going to select these and delete them just so we get rid of them. With the polygon tool, if I click and drag, once again, option on, on Mac, Alt on Windows from the center, holding on a shift key will constrain it. If you want to increase or decrease the number of sides, with the mouse button still held down, if I use the up arrow by clicking once or pressing once rather, down arrow press once, I can just press the down arrow to decrease, press the up arrow to increase. If you want to go quickly, you can hold down the down arrow or hold down the up arrow. So you can kind of move uh, as fast as you want there. It's kind of cool. To constrain it, hold down the shift key, release the mouse, and then the shift key. The star tool, a little different here. I click on the star tool to select it up here in the tools, come out to the page, click and drag. You'll see that the star starts, starts out with five points. You want to increase the number of points in the star same thing as the polygon sides. Up arrow, increase. 
down arrow, decrease. You could also just hold down the arrow and wham, there you go, or hold down the down arrow and get to a triangle. So it's up to you. You want to constrain the, tri the uh, uh, star, hold down the shift key, draw from the center, option or alt. And what's really cool here is you want to make the star pointier, meaning the corner, the radius, the, uh, I guess you could say radii, different. You can hold down the control on Windows, command on Mac, and move your cursor out. As soon as you let go, don't let go of the mouse, but let go of the key. I'm holding down control on Windows, command on Mac, let go of the key. And as soon as you start drawing again with your mouse, you're going to see it just scales what you've done. So if you want to decrease the amount of radius here, what I'm going to do is hold down the control on Windows, command on Mac, pull it in, let go of control or command, and you can just resize and scale. A lot of great little shortcuts we can use there. Whoops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. A lot of great little shortcuts we can use with the drawing tools. Flare tools, no different. If you want to use the flare tool, which is up here in the tools, click and drag. You can actually increase or decrease. You can see the number of points coming out here, number of lines. I'm using my up arrows and down arrows to do this. So we can also use the control key to drag out some of these circles. Command key on Mac. And you can kind of see some differences there. Anyway, I wanted to give you a few keyboard commands that you can use when drawing, because you're going to do a lot of drawing in Illustrator, so I figured these would be good. 